Hi my gorgeous friends uh, from sunny Sydney here in my home at French's Forest. Uh, so uh, I wanted to give you a quick uh, brief summary on a uh, miracle in cell number seven which is seven Koyushtaki Mojize starring Arash Bolut um, in Emily, our favorite Arash and Nisa Sophia Aksongur. Uh, Arash plays Memo's role, a um, disabled uh, father uh, of a six-year-old beautiful uh, girl called Ova. And uh, the story starts about how um, he's a loving dad and uh, she loves uh, the character uh, Heidi, a, ca a cartoon character, and they go to a, a shop and she sees this amazing bag with Heidi's uh, logo on it. Uh, it's a red bag, a rock sack, and she has her heart set on having that bag. And Arash, being the faithful father that he is, the loving father that he is, uh, decides to buy it for her. Um, of course, they're very poor, and he's a shepherd, and they can't afford to buy this and uh, Ova is dreaming about the bag and talking about it every day. Uh, so um, they live with um, Arash's um, uh, mum who is Ova's grandmother uh, and um, uh, one night she decides to make a uh, candy apples, you know, dipping uh, cooked apples in uh, sugar syrup uh, and putting a stick on it and then um, making as many as she can. So in the morning when Arash and Ova wake up, uh, Memo and Ova, I should say, wake up, uh, she says, look, if you could go and sell this at the fair, there was going to be a fair that day, uh, you should be able to make enough money, the 400 uh, Turkish lira that they needed, to buy the bag. Um, so they get very excited and they go with their pure hearts, selling, working hard throughout the heat of the day, and they sell every single uh, apple candy and uh, they have the money so they take it to the back shop but uh, they see that it's uh, not on the shelf anymore and next thing they see is her friend from school another six-year-old girl but daughter of the uh, lieutenant of the army walking away with the Heidi bag and uh, she's really disappointed um, uh, her dad memo goes to the lieutenant and says look please uh, can I um, can you uh, please give us the bag uh, we've been um, putting um, money aside to buy it we've had our eye on it for some time and my daughter is desperate to have it uh, the lieutenant won't have any of it of course and they walk away very cruel yes and um, Ova goes home very upset uh, the grandmother finds out and she sympathizes with them um, and um, a few days pass and um, Arash is then uh, who's playing Memo is uh, teased by the lieutenant's daughter uh, who's wearing the bag and says look come follow me and she's a playful little girl and uh, takes him all the way to a cliff um, above uh, the sea uh, there um, he f uh, fears for her life and says look the game is over be careful you're gonna slip and fall and hurt yourself she doesn't listen annoyingly to all the viewers of course falls and um, hits her head against a rock and dies immediately uh, as he is carrying her to um, uh, the um, uh, crowd and uh, screaming for help, the lieutenant um, is made to believe uh, that uh, he's the killer. Um, there was a sort of a outdoor picnic going on and his wife was there too. And he promises his wife that um, Memo will not get away easily, that he will be hanged for this. So the story is based on this accident, uh, which is the girl's own fault. Uh, but Memo is falsely accused of murder of this child, uh, is then put in jail. Uh, in jail he has a tough time because the fellow jailers uh, of course they don't have any mercy on any criminals um, 
although they are criminals themselves they don't let anyone get away easily they harm them they are very cruel to them they kick them about um, don't let them have any food etc so uh, Memo was treated just as badly uh, kicked around uh, bruising everywhere etc uh, they slowly, however, begin to find that he's truly innocent, truly loving, and uh, they uh, all, uh, even the worst of the um, jailers, believe that, um, or the people in the jail, uh, fellow jailers, uh, believe that he is, must be innocent. There's absolutely no way that he could have uh, uh, brought a harm to anyone, not even a little creature. Uh, they had some birds in the uh, prison yard that they were keeping and Memo was looking after them. He would never hurt even a bird in a cage. He would set them free, let alone um, uh, murder a little child for a handbag. Uh, they find out that he's got a daughter of his own and uh, it's very sweet how they uh, manage to let her in uh, for a visit. Uh, the lieutenant was so nasty that he had ordered the uh, prison um, keeper uh, strictly that um, uh, Memo is not allowed to have any visitors uh, and that he would be uh, sentenced to death by hanging eventually and that's how he should die uh, so the people in the jail shouldn't even um, uh, touch him until he reaches his death by hanging. It's now Ova had a lovely teacher um, and uh, the teacher is played by um, I've got it written down here, let me just get it for you. Uh, the teacher's role is uh, played by Denise Baisal uh, and her name is Mine. Uh, Mine um, is very sympathetic towards Ova and encourages her to attend school because she keeps running away because all she wants to do is to go to the cliff top. Uh, where her dad had mentioned in a conversation uh, that the cliff had seen the truth. Uh, in the cliff, she sees a, a guy, a runaway soldier, who says, uh, yes, I did see the events that occurred um, where uh, this child was running away from this uh, other guy and she was just being naughty and she falls and hits her head. Uh, so Mine um, uh, tells the uh, prison uh, guard, the head of the uh, prison, um, the chief of prison, uh, about this uh, um, and uh, says, that look you have to find this escaped army uh, guy uh, and uh, get his um, statement and that's the only way Memo could be freed. Uh, they do find him uh, but the lieutenant has him sh uh, shoots him dead before he can testify uh, and because of the injustice of all of this the head of the prison and the army uh, get a pack together with a uh, almost a miracle of a plan if it was to come true uh, to um, save Memos somehow from death by hanging one of the fellow prisoners who um, falls in love with the little girl, Ova, uh, who was brought in to see Memo a few times through their uh, um, child talk conversations, he begins to have so much sympathy for Ova and Memo. Uh, now, he was himself sentenced to death uh, over a um, crime that he, uh, many crimes that he committed, one of them included the death of um, his own daughter. Uh, so he comes up with this miracle of a plan that um, if they, on the morning of Memo's execution, if they could um, dress him up as Memo and uh, execute him by hanging instead they could then um, um, take Memo out of jail uh, and uh, to her his daughter over and have them escape Turkey so that they'll be safe forever this plan actually works and uh, it's overall a very heartwarming often tear-jerking um, drama uh, but it's um, 
very heartwarming to see the love between the grandmother and Ova, uh, the grandmother and Memo, uh, his son, um, and the compassion that they have, the love, the absolute unconditional love that Ova has uh, towards uh, her dad, and knowing um, and believing in her dad's innocence, uh, the love of uh, Mine, the teacher, and Ova, and also her confidence that um, his student's father is absolutely innocent, and the pure and amazing love that develops between all the fellow jail, uh, jailed people, uh, the fellow prisoners um, and the jailers and Memo um, and the compassion that they have for him um, and understanding that he is innocent and how they help him it is magical. So I do uh, absolutely advise that you see this um, just under two hour movie. Um, it's on Netflix with English subtitles, so we can't really ask for better. I hope you watch it and you enjoy it just as much as I have.